Hi there, this is Terry from Stamping Magic. Welcome back to my channel. Today's project is this lovely wrap box. I use the Sailing Home stamp set and the coordinating smooth sailing dies, as well as some of the designer series paper from our now retired neutral six inch stack. We still have these stacks, but we have new designs for them. Now inside the box, there are six mini cards and six envelopes. Now the envelopes are handmade and I'll show you how I did those later on. And I've also stamped them. So let's get started. I have a piece of Sahara sand card that measures 11 inches by eight and a quarter inches. Now I'm going to place this into my Simply Scored board. So the longest side is at the top and I'm going to score down at two and a half inches, three and five eighths of an inch, seven and three eighths and eight and a half inches. Then I'll turn my cardstock and score down at one and one eighth of an inch, two and a quarter inches, six inches, and seven and one eighth of an inch. The only cutting required on this box is to remove the four sections on each of the four corners. This is how your card should now look. You've got the side sections, the back section and the front. Now the next thing to do is to mark the centre point on the front section for your brad. You can then go ahead and pierce the hole. Once you've done that, you can fold on all the score lines and burnish them with your bone folder. For the sides, you want four pieces of Knight of Navy card and four pieces of the designer series paper. Now the card measures three and five eighths of an inch by one inch, which is 9.2 centimetres by 2.5 centimetres. The paper measures three and a half inches by seven eighths of an inch, which is 8.8 .8 centimetres by 2.1 centimetres. So firstly, you want to add the paper onto your card and then you can add all four panels to the sides of the box. You can then turn your box over and re-pierce the hole through the panel that you've just added. For the closure, you want to punch out two half inch circles I'm using Sahara sand card. You then want to pierce the hole through the centre of these. Now I'm using some of our now retired basic brads in Knight of Navy, but you can use any brads for the closure as long as they're not too small. So push the brad through the half inch circle and then through the front panel of your box. You want to keep the brad nice and loose so you can wrap the twine around it later. Most of the images I'm using for the stamping come from the Sailing Home stamp set. I'm using the Thanks Sentiment, the Two Boats, the Birds and the Lighthouse. I'm also going to use the Sea image from the High Tide stamp set. I'm going to show you how I created each of the designs that I used in my set. So I'll need two sentiments, one for each of the cards. I'm using Knight of Navy ink and I've got a scrap of Whisper White card. I'm going to stamp two lighthouses, one for the top of the box and one for one of the cards. 
I also need one of the larger boats and two of the smaller boats. I'm now using Sahara Sand ink and my Aqua Painter and I'm just going to very lightly watercolour parts of the boat. Then again using the Aqua Painter, this time with no ink, just so just using the water, I'm going over the sea and the sails just to spread the ink from the stamped image itself and to give it a little colour. Now for the lighthouses, I've gone back to Sahara Sand ink and I'm just going to add some of that onto my lighthouse images just to add a little shadow. All these images will be cut out using the coordinating smooth sailing dies. The two lighthouses and one of the smaller boats will be glued flat to your card, but all the other images will need dimensionals placed on the reverse. For the top of the box, you need some Knight of Navy card measuring three and a half inch squared, which is nine centimetres. You also need some Whisper White measuring three and three eighths of an inch squared, or 8.6 centimetres. For the cards, your Knight of Navy card should measure three and three eighths of an inch squared, which is 8.6 centimetres, and your white card should measure three and one quarter inch squared, or 8.2 centimetres. I'm going to stamp the C at the bottom of all three panels using Knight of Navy ink, but I'm going to stamp off onto scrap paper before stamping onto my panel. I'm then going to use my aqua painter again and just go over each of the C areas to spread that ink slightly. I've got no extra ink on my aqua painter, I'm just using the water again. I'm going to use pool party ink and a piece of stamping sponge to create the sky on each of the panels. So I'll show you how I do one, but all three panels are exactly the same. I'm masking off the C area using some copy paper. Then I'm picking up ink with my sponge and with a circular motion, I'm applying it to the card. Now I'm just going around the edges. I want to leave some white space in the center this adds a little dimension to your cards. So I'm gradually building up the ink in layers until I'm happy with how it looks. I'm using the Stamper Artist to stamp the bird image and I've already positioned this ready for the first two panels. Now I'll show you how I did this in a minute for the third panel. I've placed my um, stamp case underneath the plate to make it level. This makes inking up your stamps a lot easier. 
So I can stamp my first two panels. I'm using Night of Navy ink again. The panels I'm stamping here are for one of the cards and the other for the top of the box. For my third panel, I want to move the birds towards the right hand side just a little bit. So I've added my card panel into the Stamparatus and then I've covered it with a sheet of acetate. Now I'm going to position the birds where I think I want to stamp them and then pick them up with my plate. Then I can ink them up and stamp them down onto the acetate. And then I can determine whether they're in the right place or not. So I want the lighthouse on the right hand side and then I want the birds to be centrally in the remaining space. And this looks fine so I'm quite happy with the position. So I can now clean and remove the acetate and then ink up my stamp again and stamp them onto the actual panel. Once all the panels have been stamped, you can layer them onto their respective Knight of Navy mats. I'm going to work on the panel for the top of the box first of all, and I want to glue my lighthouse flat to the panel. So I'm just adding glue and then I'm going to position that. And then I want to mark the position for the brad. Now this needs to be halfway across and approximately half an inch or just over a centimetre up from that bottom edge. You can then go ahead and pierce the hole and then add the brad with the half inch circle. Now again, remember, don't make this brad too tight. You need it loose so you can wrap the twine around it. And then finally for this panel, I'm going to add one of the small boats, the one that I've added dimensionals to. Now for the card panels. For the first one I'm going to glue the remaining lighthouse flat to the card and position that onto the right hand side. And then I want to position the sentiment on the left hand side about halfway down. For the second card I'm going to put the larger boat down at the bottom right and then I'm going to glue the smaller one flat to the card. The sentiment will go in the top right corner. And remember if you want to complete this project for yourself you'll need a total of six cards so you want to make three of each of these designs. I'm now going to attach the lid panel to the box. Now you need to add two rows of dimensionals onto the back of this panel towards the top and then I'm going to add um, an additional row of dimensionals to the box itself. So it goes on the back section near the edge. To finish off my cards I have two Sahara sand card bases. These measure 7 inches by 3.5 inches which is 18 centimetres by 9 centimetres. I've scored them at the midway point and folded them to create my card bases. Now for inside the card I have two white mats and these measure 3 and 3 eighths 
of an inch square or 8.6 centimetres. Now to decorate these I'm going to do my normal thing. So I've got some scraps of DSP and some scraps of Knight of Navy card. These all measure three and three eighths of an inch across or 8.6 centimetres. I'm just going to add the designer series paper to the card and then trim it down before adding it to the bottom of the white panels. You can then add these panels to the inside of your card bases. All that remains to be done now is to add the panels to the front of your card bases. OK, now for the envelopes. I'm going to show you two ways to create these. The first uses the envelope punch board, which has sadly now been retired by stamping up, although you can still purchase them through We Are Memory Keepers if you want one. If you already have one, then all your envelopes can be made using this tool. I'm using Whisper White cardstock and this measures 6 inches by 6 inches or 15.2 centimetres squared. Now you place it into your punch board and you want to line up the left hand side at 3 inches and then you make a score and you punch and then you turn your cardstock. Now once you've done that first score you don't need to look at the ruler again. When you've turned your cardstock, all you need to do is align the score you did previously with the pointer on the tool. And then again, score and punch and turn your cardstock. Now you want to repeat this for all four sides. You can then fold on all the score lines and burnish them with your bone folder. I now want to round off the point on the flap of my envelope. So determine which one you're going to use as your flap and then insert it into the back of the punch board and punch again. I'm stamping the front of the envelopes with the small sailboat and again I'm using Knight of Navy ink. Then I'm going to colour them in the same way I did before. So using just the water I'm going over the sails and the sea with my aqua painter and then I'm using Sahara sand ink just to add a little colour onto the mast and the boat itself. Putting these envelopes together is very simple. You fold the sides in and then the bottom upwards. So I'm just adding a small dollop of glue on the right hand side. And then I'm bringing the two sides together and holding that in place. Then I'm adding a little more glue along the edges and on the point on the bottom panel. Bringing that up and again holding it in place just for a few seconds just for the glue to take. And then just to show you that these are a perfect size for your cards. When you come to want to seal them closed, you can either glue them down or just add a glue dot. Now, using the envelope punch board is by far the quickest, simplest and cleanest way to make your envelopes. But if you haven't got one, you can still do this. Now, you start off with the same size of cardstock. So this is 6 inch squared or 15.2 centimetres squared. And all you do, first of all, is mark the halfway point along each edge. Now, you want to mark inwards one centimetre or three eighths of an inch and make another pencil mark. And you want to do this on each side.
Next, you want to score on each corner through those second pencil marks. So I'm just using a ruler and I'm lining it up with the second lot of pencil marks that I made. And then I'm going to score right the way across the cardstock. And I'm going to do that on each corner. Now your scoring will create little triangular sections and you just want to cut these away on each side. Finally you finish your envelope in exactly the same way as you did if you'd have made it with the punch board. So fold on the score lines and burnish and then fold your two sides in and your bottom up and you have your envelope. Don't forget to stamp it if that's what you want to do. And again, it's the perfect size for the cards we made. Finally, you can add the cards and envelopes to the inside of the box. Now you fold the sides in first and then the front section and then the back with the lid. Now the baker's twine I'm using today is our new twine which is in Knight of Navy and Sahara Sand and because this is thicker than our other twine um, you need about 7 inches which is about 18 centimetres. So you want to position it and hold it in place and then you're going to do a figure eight around the brad so go down around the bottom brad and then back up and over the top brad and you're done you can then trim the ends if you need to and that's it our little box and cards are all finished Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this project. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notifications bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Bye for now.